I see Jesus' humanity as something so powerful, such a wonderful example of what we are to do. Think about it. Jesus is upset. He's human, okay? He's so upset. And he's, in a sense, there's this sense of confusion because everything was peaceful. And then, out of nowhere, John the Baptist gets arrested and he starts to feel his heart beating fast and this unrest. And we all often feel like this, you know, we're going through a time of peace and then all of a sudden we hear rumors of war, where things go wrong, our finances go wrong, our situation goes wrong, our health goes wrong, and we lose this sense of peace where everything seemed to be going well and now it isn't. And so what do we do in situations like this? Do we pretend that everything's fine and keep going? Do we deny the fact that though our world is falling apart or do we do what Jesus did. Well, here's what Jesus did. The minute things started to fall apart, John the Baptist was arrested and he knew that once John the Baptist was about to be arrested, he knew that he was going to be next. So they were coming for him as well. But it's his upset. So what does he do? He could go and he could attack, he could worry, he could be anxious about it, but no. What he does is he goes away, not runs away, but goes away to a quiet place. He goes and he brings it to the Lord and says, God, why? I don't understand this situation. And he goes to this place and he thinks and he meditates and he surrenders it to the Father. One, surrendering to the Father. The second thing is that he starts to listen. He opens the word of God. Because this is what the scripture says, is that he listened to what was said about him through the prophets. Who are you listening to? When your world falls apart, what voices are you listening to? Are you listening to the voice that tells you that you, things are falling apart, that your world is not what you thought it was, that you are not what you thought you were? Or are you going to listen to the voice of the prophets, the voice of God, the, the word spoken about you, that you are beautifully, fearfully made, that you have a purpose over your life? Turn to the Father, listen to his voice. But then the third thing he did was he decided to go out, to take that darkness, that opportunity of, of, of failure and turn it into a success by not looking at himself, by, but reaching out to others. As he reads the voice of the prophets, the signs of the times, that creates an urgency in his heart to go and to proclaim, to look outward not inward. In your pain and in your darkness, look outward. Don't look at what God can do for you, what the world has disappointed you in, but go look out and see how you can serve others in the darkness and in the pain. Because just because your world falls apart doesn't mean that God has given up on you. Just because everything around you seems to be like sand in your hands doesn't mean that God's anointing has left you. Continue to serve the Lord. Listen to the Lord, to his voice. Pull yourself aside, but also understand that in your mess and in your brokenness, in your fallen world, God still stands strong and his call over your life still stands strong. He calls you to be his prophet, no matter what your circumstances are.